Hello, welcome to St Luke's Church, Ecclesill, for morning prayer for Thursday the 7th of October 2021. I hope you have Bible in one hand and video remote in the other so that you can read the Word of God for yourself and so that you can pause me to give yourself a chance to do that. The essence of morning prayer is that God speaks to us by his living word applied to our hearts. Let's ask him into our hearts and onto our lips at the beginning of our time with him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Stephen and I have a project to sing through all the hymns in the Sing Praise hymn book during the year uh, and the one which he's chosen for today uh, is number 295 My Jesus, My Saviour, Lord, There Is None Like You by Darlene Zetch. <laughs> My Jesus, my Saviour, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength, let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing Power and majesty, praise to the King Mountains bow down and the seas will roar At the sound of your name I sing for joy at the work of your hands Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand Nothing compares with the promise I have in you The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms which are set for today, this morning, are Psalms 90 and 92, and here's a sung version of Psalm 90. I suppose I ought to say that there's a slight feeling of death on today's service, uh, but I hope you'll be able to reach through it into resurrection. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust Swiftly life passes like the wind's gust Briefly we're present, then we are gone Like the moon's crescent, swamped by the sun Time like an arrow, cast us aside Show us your narrow way to abide Teach us to number days that pass Give us a hunger for food that will last Lead us to learning while we have time As we are yearning, help us to find Time like an arrow, cast us aside Show us your narrow way to abide Four score of years, if we've strength Filled up with tears, finished at length Gone in a twinkling, trouble and toil then all unthinking laid in the soil Time like an arrow cast us aside Teach us your narrow way to abide You are our dwelling all our days You 
alone quelling fears and dismays from everlasting you are our lord feebly we're grasping you our reward time like an arrow cast us aside show us your narrow way to abide help us in finding your great love cleaving and binding to what you approve you're always showing your wondrous deeds draw us to knowing you lord who feeds time like an arrow cast us aside show us your narrow way to Psalm 90 is, of course, a meditation on the nature of time. You might like to pause the video and reflect on those two psalms in your own Bible. The Old Testament reading today is 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the first 23 verses. Uh, it is quite long, but actually you can read on further if you want, because uh, we're starting at chapter 22, uh, verse 10 uh, tomorrow, so there's a bit to cover. Jehoshaphat uh, defeats Moab and Ammon. Please uh, pause the video and read that in your own Bible. If you want, you can respond to the Old Testament reading by using the canticle from Isaiah. And if you want to do that, please do it now. And the New Testament reading is in Mark's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 42 to the end. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Jesus is dead in the reading, uh, and what remains uh, is to clear up his body. But, of course, the next part of the story is about to arise. The uh, next song uh, I wrote for a Good Friday service in the evening as a kind of introit, a way of looking back over the events uh, and trying to grasp their cosmic significance, which was quite unapparent uh, from the humiliation of his end. Dreadful pride. 
price of our sin by him was taken, paid in one self-sacrifice by this Christ who seemed forsaken. God has met our human need, Christ was cursed by substitution for our sins, so we are freed, cleaned and healed from sin's pollution. Nature, red in tooth and claw, choiceless bonded to frustration, now is free, enslaved no more, Christ has gained its So let us pray, let us ask God into our hearts afresh, uh, let's put ourselves before him and let's put our concerns into his hands. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus is forever close to each one of us and like Darlene Zetch says in her hymn, uh, there is no one like you uh, and uh, you can be with us throughout our days. We can give you glory and you can lift our hearts. Help us to enter afresh into that experience of you every day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you that although we are creatures of time, you have put eternity into our hearts and have promised through Jesus that that dream of eternity is not simply wish fulfilment, but rather uh, has its cosmic reality in the resurrection of our Lord. Help us to stick close to you uh, when thoughts of time dull our senses and help us to find in you our refuge and our hope through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart at the moment. The Collect for the 18th week after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray as Jesus taught his first disciples, our Father. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the Lord grant us steadfastness of faith, as we celebrate his resurrection, even in the midst of our troubles. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.